Tim, just summarizing the weekend, getting two wins against a team that was in the hunt to be a conference champion, not throwing maybe your best two pitchers, getting behind two in a row. How big was it to win the series the way you won it? I mean, it was good for the kids, confidence builder. Certainly playing a really good team, a really good team that can do damage at any time. Pitching's tough too, so. You know, I was wondering how we would respond after Thursday night because we were you know, didn't play well, but they flushed it. But even so, we weren't really normally our own, we weren't our personality until we got halfway through that game, and then certainly at the beginning. But it, it felt more like ourselves today in terms of how we moved the bat and just the energy in the group. You said confidence builder uh, to start that answer. Was that something that was a little bit? lacking coming into the weekend? No, I think they were just shaking. I mean, the last three weeks were tough baseball, so didn't have a lot of mojo going. So just to get the bats going and get some, some base running, I mean, that was something that I wanted to see. And they, 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 uh, they got themselves going. You know, how did you decide to start Ginther today, and what did you see out of him? He was the best option. He, he gave us uh, good innings. I thought he did a nice job. Strikes for the most part, uh, and then felt like after the floor, that was enough. Did you come in intending to give him a certain number of innings or pitches? No, I just think look at the volume and the tempo of how he was pitching and what it looked like from their vantage point, whether they were getting to him or not. But felt like he gave us four good innings. In terms of momentum, how big was that last night? The way it happened, and then to be yeah. able to carry it over. Oh, it was, it was good. It was, it was like bursting the bubble. It was a long time coming. I mean, these kids really haven't felt, you know, probably prior to Alabama, just momentum that they've had on occasions. And they are a good team, uh, and they know that. But when it doesn't happen for you, and then you hit the ball hard, and Bolton was making like three tremendous plays at shorts, three or four tremendous plays at shortstop. So balls that you were hit hard, wouldn't find holes. I think for them, they were probably a little bit trying to just get something going. That, that inning did it. Is that the uh, sixth inning and good miles what Brad can do with some chaos? Yeah, he, I mean, he's that type of player. I mean, he's been that player ever since he stepped on campus. We went from a nine hole to a one hole, probably midway through his freshman year. But his freshman year, he's, I, I thought he played with a, a good heartbeat this weekend. It's, it's probably the best. He, he's had a lot of good games, but I, I thought this was one of the better games as of late. Is there anything you like better about your guys' like, approach to the plate uh, today relative to this game? Uh, I just think they were going up to the plate with more confidence and being more assertive, just moving the bat. I think sometimes when you're in a little bit of a rut, you, the bat slows down because your mind and your approach slows down. I, I thought they moved the bat pretty aggressively. What does it mean for your bullpen to have Horn have those kind of two back-to-back -back really good outings? Well, it's good for David. I mean, it's good for David, number one, because you're right, I mean, Louisville and then this one, and he's a young kid that hasn't pitched a whole lot up to this point, but we're probably like Arkansas in some regards where we're, we're kind of piecing it together and someone's going to have to step into those moments later on, whether it's this coming week or beyond that. But he did a good job for the team. He really did. He even when he got behind 2-0, I, I thought he, he got more aggressive. I like to see him more aggressive on the front side of that count, but you know, they just can't be choosy. He, he did a good job getting out, getting out. What's the process going to be like over the next four or five days in terms of determining who could be available or who could start that Thursday game? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Wednesday is the yeah. Yeah, Wednesday late game. That's the first one, and I have no idea right now. I, I wouldn't know what to tell you. What were you thinking? Did you like something in the matchup when you went to Carter in the eighth? The power. Yeah, the power arm. And that, that kid's a really good hitter. But probably trying to just get off his swing, hit a three-run home run. And the thing about Grayson is he throws a power fastball that's headed down, and it's tough to lift. So it felt like just with one hitter, he could just come in and just charge the zone with a fastball. Can I remember the series 
to end the regular season last year when LSU came in here. Kind of, yeah. Kind of, you know, thank you for that. <laughs> took it to, but how much different does this feel now that you're able to get it turned the way you did and now carry some? Yeah, it turned. You know, just turned and momentum to not only win a game but feel good about how you're playing the game more than anything else. I think the outcome was it could have gone either way. Listen, they, that that this is tough baseball, really tough baseball. Arkansas just never gives in. Dave's teams are, are really tough. But I just think the brand of baseball was more towards, you know, whether we won or lost that game, the kids had to feel better about how they played the last 11 innings. Um, is Jack Anderson hurt? Not unless you know something I don't. No. <laughs> he just hasn't pitched in a few weeks. He's not hurt. Do you think you'll have... Oh, your mind is spinning, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I see you. <laughs> do, do you think you'll get Owen or um, or Holton back, and, and if so, when? Uh, I don't think Holton anytime soon, at least not in the next week. Uh, Owen, I feel like he'll respond pretty well in the next week. So I, I would feel that he might be able to touch the ball this weekend or this week at some point. How tricky was the calculus with, with him? Because if, if you think maybe he can throw a pitch or two or a few innings in this one, then that makes a difference when you're trying to host a weekend or two. But if you don't have him, then, then it's hard to advance later. How do you think through that as a coach? It's battle and war. You know, it's like you might lose a battle, but you'd rather win the war. So it's just one of those situations where rest benefits him more than being active right now and at least understanding that we're going to play beyond the SEC tournament. So we just have to be smart. I, I, we, I, listen, everyone in the dugout and everyone in the school wants to win, and we did. But because he didn't pitch, he just found David Horn. He just found Grayson Carty. He just found other guys that had to step into that, that situation and, and get us through it. Um, after seeing how the atmosphere was here this weekend, you know, did you feel like maybe you were playing to get more games here in the postseason? Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I think all we can control is playing good baseball and winning. What happens outside of this, we can't control that. Uh, but you finish top four, and I'm not lobbying. I'm just speaking. Like <laughs> your top four team in this conference, you beat the number one team in this conference. Uh, you win 19 games. I mean, come on. It's, it's a lot of baseball games to win in, inside the SEC. It's, it's really, you guys know, it's tough. It's really tough. I'm, I'm putting you on the spot, but you, I know you pay a lot of attention to things too. As a team with your, with the, your profile, top eight RPI, 19 wins, top four finish in, in a league, it's probably as tough as you've ever seen. Is, is a team in your spot ever left out of hosting two weekends? I guess there probably has been, but I think, you know, we'll put a good resume together, at least up to this point right now. Um, so someone else is going to have to do that, but it's probably happened at some point, but it's a, it's a damn good conference. We got time for one more. Just Arkansas, I guess, got to share with Florida after today's results. Just what did you see out of them, you know, this year? You know, in college or Arkansas? Yes. Just gritty. They're just gritty. I mean, I know they've been through some health issues, but I, I just think that they're really difficult to play. I like their older kids. Callie just has so much confidence in terms of understanding the strike zone. He gets big hits. And hold comes in the middle of the year you've seen more of them than I have but he's, he was so dangerous it's a 400 hitter that wasn't playing at the beginning of the year I, I just think they're really good and I think they're really tough I think they're tough-minded but knowing Dave like I do never these teams are always tough-minded they're tough to play really tough unfortunately appreciate it yeah thank, thank you, you. Thank you